Hey everybody, Dare Really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Dangerous Relationship. We're on Subaru Oshima's path on his regular happy ending. We've already done his best ending, and we just have the extras left after this before him, and then I'll finish up Taiga. My true love! Alright, so you can sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. Sometime later, we celebrated Subaru's glorious return and achievement of making a platinum record. Cheers! Cheers! Naturally, we went to the cafe for the occasion, and it was just a party for two. Congratulations on making platinum. I'm sure you want to enjoy yourselves without me around, so it's self-service tonight. The owner patted Subaru on the back and handed him the keys to the cafe. Thanks. Thank you. Tomorrow we're closed, so I don't care if you're here all night. It might get cold, though. That's okay. We're burning with love. Are you kidding? No one says that anymore. They don't? He just did. You sound like an old geezer, for goodness sake. Stop acting like one, or your girl might just dump you. Does it bother you when I say things like that? No. See? He glanced over at the owner, as if saying I told you so. Whatever. I don't even want to try to understand. With that, the owner walked out of the cafe, shaking his head. It's just us now. All we can eat and drink, too. He spoke while pointing at the table. It was stacked with all the food anyone could dream of. The owner must have spent an awful lot of time preparing for this. A look at the drink selection, too. He turned around toward the bar, opening his arms wide to take it all in. And there you are. Subaru walked over and plucked one of the bottles off the shelf. What's so special about that one? It's his most cherished champagne. Well, why not drink it? It's a celebration, after all. I want to get mad? Subaru came waltzing over, flaunting the fancy-looking bottle. The owner said we could eat or drink whatever we wanted, but this seemed a little too much. He might, to be honest. Subaru stared at the bottle, as if weighing the risk. If he does, I'll just have to apologize then. And get him another bottle. With a grand smile, he poured the champagne into two glasses. Why does it have to be this one? I've been eyeing it for a long time now. I've always wanted to taste it. He handed me one of the wine glasses that now sparkled with champagne. Another toast for my comeback and success of the new song. Cheers. Cheers. Our glasses came together, filling the room with a high-pitched chime. Mmm, I like this. It's so easy to drink. Can't believe this guy. He's got the good stuff, but he never lets anyone have it. Well, of course not. Then he wouldn't have it anymore. He probably only has so much. He kept telling me he was saving it for something special. Well, I guess this is qualifies. Like what? Like now. Is he gonna propose? Who gets to decide that? I just did. It's not every day someone hits platinum so quickly. It's all thanks to you, the love of my life. Cupping my jaw on his hand, he leaned in and gave me a kiss. The scent of champagne on his lips tickled my nose. It's embarrassing when you say it like that. You know what's more embarrassing? Drinking from out of my mouth. I don't think I'm ready for that. No, what a shame. He slumped his shoulders and frowned. Oh, don't do the puppy dog thing. Oh yeah, this. Out of his pocket, he produced a watch and wrapped it around my wrist. I thought it would look good on you, so I got it as a gift for selling a million records. Wow, it's lovely. Thank you. It's just, I didn't get you anything. It's okay. You being here with me is the best present I could ever ask for. But I still feel bad. Then do me a favor. Hmm? I wondered what it would be. Drink champagne out of his mouth? Subaru had something in mind he wanted me to do for him. Actually, I... I want you to be my personal stylist. What? Really? Me? Yeah, I'll be touring the country, and I'll need you to prepare my wardrobe. For the entire tour? Isn't that like... A huge job? Are you sure you want someone like me doing it? Of course. I'll be on stage and I want a part of you to be up there with me. I, I'm so happy. So you'll do it for me? Yes, of course. Wonderful. That means we can be together the whole tour too. Maybe we can even share the same room together. N no, we can't do that. I was joking, obviously. But you don't mind if I invite you to my room, do you? I think I can deal with that. 
Great. We'll need to put in an offer with your office. Maybe I should put the call in myself. I don't know. If you did that, I might become a huge mess. No. I'll just say Ryohei referred me to you. No one has to know about our relationship. You worry me, though. I can never be too careful when you're around. What's that supposed to mean? You're unpredictable, like that one time when you stuck into the studio. Subaru had wanted to meet with me so badly that he slipped by the guards and somehow made it in. We had to hide inside the dressing room, but then he started kissing me. When I did this? He came up behind me and put his lips on my nape. <laughs> Didn't we kiss in here too? He said longingly, as if reliving the moment. It seemed we had kissed everywhere in the time we were pretending to date each other. I don't know why he brought it up so suddenly, but I was embarrassed to even think about it. All the things we said and did floated into the back of my mind. My thoughts would have drifted to those memories too if Subaru hadn't interrupted me. Wanna do it? Here? He posed a cryptic question out of the blue. Do what? You know. He grinned while picking up my hand and holding it between us. When a guy and a girl are alone, there is only one thing it could mean. What? Right here? You and me, alone in a closed cafe. Wouldn't it be exciting? Too exciting for me. Oh, you're so tame. I stumbled backwards, afraid of what might happen. Don't run away. Come on, let's bring our hearts closer together. He slipped closer, bringing his face inches away from mine. That was your lips coming closer, not your heart. I'll need my lips if I'm going to sing a love song. Yanking my hands forward, he pulled me into his arms. His hand lovingly stroked my back. But... You don't want to do it unless it's in bed? Yeah. I'd love to do it with you all over, though. I can't. It's not like anyone's going to see. He whispered seductively and wrapped his arms around me. I know, but... This could be our only chance. Subaru's hands began to coax and tease my body from all over. <sighs> Stop! And that's it. Let me hear your voice. His hands moved quicker as my body reacted. Uh, no, we can't. You are so shy. That's another part of you I love so much. But when you overcome that and crave me enough to want it, that's when I win. W win? Who are you competing against? Myself, I guess. No, against my stubbornness. Every day I want you to need me more than the last. It's a never-ending battle. But, but I already do. You can't... Uh... There's no limit to love. You can always love me more, and I'm willing to fight for it. He looked down at me with a naughty smile. In the end, Subaru had his way, and we made love in the cafe. Just look at the table. What a mess we've made. Now that I know he'll get mad at me over if I don't clean that up. I can imagine. We glanced at each other and smiled. The next day, I went into work to do my part for filming a drama. Have you heard? Real little rock star has a secret lover. I know. They say his new song happened because of her. It was no surprise that everyone at the studio was still talking about Subaru. Did you hear the rumor that he snuck into the studio when he was on break? What does that mean? Do you think he's dating a star or actress? No, they said she was pretty normal on TV. Wouldn't that mean she's on the staff? Someone we know, maybe? N no way! First of all, no one I know has even worked with him. That's true. Luckily, they seemed to buy into my cover-up. The whole day, people talked about it, but fortunately, no one found me out just yet. I couldn't wait for the day when it became a distant rumor again. Just then, my phone started ringing in my pocket. It was from the main office. Hello? Congratulations! You were selected as the stylist for the next big project. I had a good idea of what this might be about. That singer, Ryo, wants you for a stylist on his next tour. You'll be going along with him. Really? That's great news! It seemed everything had worked out just as Subaru was planned. This is a great chance for you. Good luck! Thanks! I felt ecstatic. What's up? I just got assigned to a big job. I didn't mention Subaru, figuring they might start asking questions if I said anything. Uh-oh. I think the cat's gonna be out of the bag and it's not our fault. But just then, I noticed someone standing at the end of the alley across the way. As soon as our eyes met, I knew it was Subaru. 
He was standing there waving, smiling, and beckoning me to come over. It was so dangerous of him to be here, especially with the rumors still so fresh. What was he doing here anyway? Look at him smiling away. He kept waving, oblivious to my worry that he might be seen. How thoughtless could he be? Um, something came up, so I have to leave early. Sorry. No problem. See ya. I hurried over to Subaru before anyone else took notice of him. What in the world are you doing? I can't wait for you. You need to be more careful. Everyone's still talking about you. Yeah, but you're the only one that saw me, right? Yeah, but... Being in love with me gave you a sixth sense for me, maybe. Guess what? I just got a call from my boss. Did you get the job for the tour? I did. Congratulations. We should have a party tonight, then. Another one? We just had one. So, you're allowed to party whenever something good happens, right? Well, yeah. Good, because we are. I can't believe you sometimes. Well, he's a rock star. Party like rock star, you know the saying. I won't do anything you don't like, I promise. Yeah, but you make me like an awful lot of things. With a spunky smile, he wrapped his arms around my shoulder and walked in line with me. It wasn't long until preparations for the big tour had both of us busy. I picked out this for your first song on the first day. Want me to pack it? Yeah. Also keep in mind I don't really need that many outfits. Just one for each stage should be enough, I think. I'd like to have a new one for each different region. Maybe wear something that looks local. I might even do an impromptu song about the area I'm in. <laughs> that sounds fun. By the way, about the magazine photo shoot tomorrow. I'm way ahead of you. I've already picked out what you can wear. Well, you're a go-getter. Well, I am your stylist now, after all. Can you tell me anything about the outfit? You'll have to wait until tomorrow and see for yourself. Oh. It's revenge for surprising me at the concert. <laughs> okay, if you say so. I do. The next day, Subaru and I met face to face in the dressing room. This was our first time working together in the studio, so we had to be very professional. My name is Darili D, and I'll be your stylist. Nice to meet you. I'm Ru. It's a pleasure. Shaking hands, we exchanged sheepish smiles. Well, what have you got for me? Um, today is a photo shoot, so you'll have to change clothes quite a few times. I picked up one of his outfits and explained it to him. Make sure to keep the collar up high when wearing this. All right. And for your accessories. I was trying to talk him through things, but I noticed his eyes were following me. So, Ryo? If you stare at me like that, it's hard for me to get any work done. I've just never seen you work so hard like this. It's... You can't say stuff like that at work, okay? He's gonna say it was sexy, isn't he? Why not? It's just a normal compliment. So, do you always flirt with your female staff like this all the time? I countered and caught him off guard, making him shake his hands and head at me. N no I never do that. Are you sure? Maybe you do and just don't want to admit it. I really don't. I only said it because it's you. Is that true? It is, I promise. Believe me. Okay, but you can't do it anymore. When we're alone, that's one thing, but here at work you have to behave more. Fine. At work I will. Work only, that is. Good, then let's get back to what I was saying. Because it's for a magazine, there'll be some photos of you in plain clothes, however. There are also some, shall we say, sexier outfits for you to wear as well? Like this one here? Yes, when you put that on, you'll want to do the sexiest poses you can. Yeah, sounds fun. It's hard to do if you aren't used to it, so I tried to make it easier for you. If you look right here, I... Where are you going to be during the shooting? Hmm? In the studio. If it's too embarrassing for you, I can wait in the dressing room. No, I want you to stand behind the camera. So he can make sexy faces? Put yourself behind it, right where I'll be looking. And look at you? Yeah, look at me like you're waiting for a kiss. If you do that, I can pull off my sexiest face for sure. That's so embarrassing though. It'll be alright, as long as you can do it without anyone knowing. Or if you want, we could do it right here before the shoot. What? It would help me get in the right mood. N no way! So, you'll go behind the camera then? 
fine. Good. This is going to be fun. <sighs> Would Jupiter really be able to pull this off? I worried to myself while heading toward the studio. He had already wrapped up the photos where he wore normal clothes. Now was the hard part, where I had to deliberately do sexy poses. Look this way. Give me everything you've got. Got it. Superdo glanced in my direction and smiled. I was standing in the back, at an angle that only he could see me. Making a face like I was waiting for a kiss was asking too much, but if I just look at him... I stared straight back at Subaru. Oh, look at him blushing already. He looked back, his eyes burning with passion. Then I noticed his eyes moving across me. First on my eyes, then my lips and neck. You can tell from that distance? He was targeting areas of my body as if sending kisses through the air. What a face. Super sexy. Everyone's eyes were glued to him. Good, good, keep it up. Encouraged by the cameraman, Subaru rolled his eyes across my body again. It was hard to believe, but I was feeling a bit toasty just being stared at by him. The two of us stared, locked in each other's eyes across the studio. I like it, perfect. In no time at all, the shooting was over without a hitch. Good work. Nice work, everyone. Oh, I had fun too. You guys do a real good job here. The studio looks fun to shoot at too. Feel free to if you want. No one's using it after this. Really? Maybe I will then. Uh, I think he's gonna want to use this studio with me. I should be concerned. I bought my own camera, so maybe I'll snap a few shots. If you need a tripod, you can use this one. Thanks so much. It might be a pain to shoot by myself, though. Miss D, if it isn't a bother, can you bring me some clothes to wear? Sure. I should have known better. That Subaru was up to something. Oh, you know what he's up to. When I brought some other outfits back to the studio, Subaru ran over and locked the door. Yep, you should have been expecting this. Looks like we're finally alone. We aren't going to take photos? That was just an excuse for us to be in here alone. Now that we are. I can do whatever I want. He drew me in around my shoulders and whispered seductively into my ear. That's only when we're at home. I never heard you say that. Haha, <laughs> we failed to put that stipulation down. But... It's okay. It's nothing bad. Well, I suppose that depends on your definition of bad. After taking those sexy photos, I was hoping to get some of you too. Oh, sexy photos of me. You know you're not going to stop at photos. His hands draped over my shoulder and tugged at my clothes. What are you... Sexy photos, right? It's nothing special if you're just wearing all your clothes. So, you're going to take photos like the ones you were just doing? That's right. Or maybe a little sexier if you can pull it off. The ones you had just taken looked plenty sexy to me. I'll tell you how to pose, don't worry. He stripped off more of my clothes while talking me into it. B but I'll just be in my underwear then. Perfect, right? That's as sexy as it gets. This is way too embarrassing. Want to try doing it nude then? That's worse. Then, at least let me have this much. The pile of clothes I wasn't wearing anymore kept growing. <sighs> Don't move. Stay just like that. His lips sucked on my neck as if draining out all my blood. Mm. Hmm. Ow! It pinched and tingled my skin. That made a good one. Sorry, did it hurt? A little. What did you do that for? You know why. A kiss mark on a beautiful girl is super sexy. Subaru finally took his hands off me and backed away. He held up the camera and got into position. I'm going to start now. Fine. My first instinct was to cover my chest with my arms, but that's not sexy. No, no. Make the face you had a second ago. That's not as easy as it looks. Guess I need to help then. Holding the camera in one hand, he came back to me and pulled me close with his other arm. He drew his lips ever so closer to mine. Mmm. Mmm. Subaru closed his lips tightly over mine. Mmm. Ah! They parted and left me craving for more. Snap. The sudden sound of a camera shutter made me blink. Hey! That was good. Keep looking at me like that. He kissed me and jumped back to take a photo over and over. Look at you. You're so cute. <sighs> I felt so embarrassed, but 
All I could think of was his next kiss. I love you, Darily. Let's keep doing this forever and ever. Okay. Against Subaru, there was no way I could win. He would surely keep teasing me until the end of time, but I was strangely fine with that. Me too! Alright, so the next and last episode with our Subaru here will be his sequel and date scenario. Hope to see you there or in some of my other videos, and I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. Do really signing out. Bye bye everybody.